All right, this is how you make a maze game or a video game in PowerPoint. I'm just going to go through the steps, the basics, and then you can do whatever you want beyond that. First thing that you need to do is open up PowerPoint. Once you have it open, it's uh, displaying the title slide. So go ahead and uh, select a title. And you could call it uh, My Amazing Maze or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. You could also style it by putting a design on there. I like just maybe a background color. So I'm going to put a solid background color. Whatever you choose to do, however you choose to make it. You can change the fonts and the colors and everything about it. Okay, next thing you need to do is insert a few different slides. So go back to the Home tab and the New Slide button here. Click it three times because we're going to add three different slides. Um, now, for the third slide, uh, on the second slide actually, we're going to have, this is where our maze is going to be. So I'm just going to delete these, the title and the text box. I want it blank just to keep, get that stuff out of the way. On the third one, I want it to say you win. And on the fourth one, I want it to say you lose. Okay, now back to the first one. On the first slide, we are going to put a button. So to do that, we need to insert a shape. And I'm just going to get the round rectangle, rounded rectangle shape. This is in the Insert tab under Shapes. I'm going to click and drag and just make it a decent size. It's going to be down here in the bottom left because that's where my maze is going to start. Wherever you click on it, that's where your cursor starts on the next slide. So when you click on the shape and then just type Start, or whatever you want to type in there. You can make it the font bigger, you can change the font, change the color, whatever you want to do to that. You can also change the style of your button by changing the colors and the fonts and all that, so I would recommend doing that. There's even some default things here in the Format tab. I like that. Okay, that's going to be my button. Now, on the button, to make it a button, uh, first thing, if I play this slideshow, it's, whoops, I've got the wrong view on that screen, but if I play the slideshow, you can click anywhere and it will advance the slide. That's normal for PowerPoint because usually you're presenting. But if we don't want it to, I don't want to be able to click anywhere. I want the person to have to click on the button. So I can change that by going to Transitions tab. And over here on the far right side, Advanced Slide on Mouse Click. It's checked because that's default. I want to uncheck that, and that way when I play it, it will not let me advance. Let me see if I can do it in this view. Yeah. So now I click anywhere, and it does not let me go forward. But if I click here, oh, I haven't set up my button yet, so let me show you how to set up the button. And on each slide, I'm going to do that. So while I've got it on my mind, I'm just going to go to each slide and say I don't want it to advance on slide click. That way, if somebody's doing your maze, they could just click the button and go to the next slide, which says you win. And that uh, would not be good. I don't want that. So let's make this a button. Click on your shape. And if you go to Insert, this button right here in the middle, Action, click on that. Now we've got two action settings on mouse click and mouse over, meaning uh, do I want them the user to click it, or do I want them to just put the mouse on top of it? As soon as it touches, mouse over, then it will do something. On the start, if it's a button, I want them to click it. So on mouse click, I want the action to be a hyperlink to a slide. Could be next slide because that's the next slide, but if I happen to change it, I want it to fit to that slide specifically. So I'm going to click the drop down and go down to slide, and I will select slide two. That way, if I move it around, it will stay on that specific slide. So anytime that I click on this button, it's going to go to that slide right there. I could also play a sound if I wanted to. It sometimes it gets a little bit of a, uh, annoying, so be careful with the sounds. I'll put a little voltage sound on it. Okay, now if I try it, I, it won't take me anywhere if I click out here because I changed that in the Transitions tab, but if I click right here, it gives me the sound and it takes me to slide two. I hit Escape. Now, uh, now that I've got a button, I'm going to copy and paste that button. So I'll do a control C on the keyboard and go to slide three and control V and it pastes it to the exact same spot. 
I'm going to go to slide 4 and control V and paste it again. Now, the, the reason I want to copy and paste after I've made it a button is because now that button is going to be on this slide and the button's going to be on this slide and the, all those buttons are going to take me back to slide number two uh, where my maze is. So I of course don't want to say start. If I win I want to say maybe play again and on slide four where I lose I want to say something like try again. Okay. Now if I test it, actually, let me uh, let me do one more thing before we test. On slide two, I need something to be able to go somewhere. So on slide two, this is where I'm going to make my maze. And so I'm just going to get a regular rectangle shape in the Insert tab, Shapes, Rectangle. And I'm going to come up here and click and drag on the top of the slideshow. I'm going over a little bit just to make sure it's covered on the edge. And I have a regular shape. Of course, I'm going to change the fill right away in the Format tab. You know, change it to whatever you want. And then one important thing that I think is important is the outline. I'm going to take away that little border. I've got a little tiny blue border around that. It's called the outline. And if I put a ton of shapes, it's, gonna, it's going to show those outlines, and it's not going to look very good. So I'm going to take that outline off right here. Shape outline, no outline. Then it's just a solid orange color. Now I'm going to, I want this to be my, um, if you touch this, if the person, the user touches this, then it's going to go to an, the slide called You Lose. So I'm going to make it an action as well. Go to Insert, Action. And this time I want it to be on the mouse over. If I put the mouse click, no one's going to click on it because they don't want to lose. So on the mouse over, meaning as soon as the mouse touches it, it's going to then hyperlink to a certain slide. Slide, and I want it to go to slide four where it says You Lose. And I could play a sound, I could do an explosion, or just anything. Click OK. Now that should take me there, and then I should be able to get back with the buttons. So let's test it out. Okay, I can't click anywhere here, but I can click right here. It does my sound. And then if I touch that bar, it should take me to that last slide. It gives me the explosion, and it takes me to the slide. You lose. And then I can try again. This should take me back to slide two. And it does. I can just do that all day long because it's fun. Or annoying, annoying, whichever one. Okay, hit escape. Okay, so it's working. All my buttons are taking me where I want them to go. Now I'm going to work on my maze. So if I, what I can do now is copy and paste. Uh, I can copy and paste this uh, since I've put the action on it. If you have not put the action on it, do not copy and paste because you're going to have to put the action on every shape. So let me show you what I mean. If I copy this, Control C and then Control V, I can click that and drag it down to the bottom and have that be my bottom border. And I could, now I don't have to copy it, I can just paste again, Control V, and I can rotate this by clicking that button right above the shape, rotate it 90 degrees, and pull it over here to the side. And I can now copy this one since it's turned, and Control C, Control V, and I'll put this one on the other side. Now I could clean that up if I wanted. I like to zoom in and out down here, so I can zoom out and see how big my shapes are, and I can pull those in and make them look nice. I won't take too much time doing that right now. Um, but now I've got all my borders on that slide, so I'm going to test it one more time real quick. So now I can't get out anywhere I go. It's going to to the you lose slide, and that's because I copied and pasted after I put the action on. If you put the action on, if you make a shape and then copy and paste it all over, then you have to go in individually and put the action that hyperlinks it to slide four on every one of them. So make sure you do the action before you copy and paste. I'm going to copy this one and paste it again, and I'm just going to make a real simple maze. Control V to paste. And I'll just show you a couple things about what you can do on the maze. And like I said, you can clean that up if you want to zoom in or out to clean that up. Okay, um, actually I'm going to stop it here and give you another video. And so the next video that uh, you can click on will show you how to make uh, put a few obstacles in there and make them move.